Hello, dear friends. This is a summary of all the information I have found about the new quantum foam. Opinion piece. Quantum foam. Absolute security. Global prosperity. Financial freedom. The stakes are high. The tables are turning. Inspired by Steve Jobs. Quantum teleportation. Complex infrastructure. Quantum mesh network. Experimental technology. Let's start. When the switch is activated, everything in the world will be quantum, according to Julian Assange. The miniature on the cover corresponds to the first quantum foam model from 2018, designed by Steve Jobs. All current models are based on the improvement of this first model. This device is fully adapted to the QFS quantum financial system and is the latest in communication, finance, user applications and distribution of a universal basic income. Quantum phones developed by QFS and Starlink are inspired by the innovative legacy of Steve Jobs. The planned launch of the QFone quantum phone has been rescheduled due to software updates. This device offers interrupted quantum mesh network connectivity globally. These devices don't just deal with communication. They are financial powerhouses linked to GSR applications, ensuring financial security and transforming the landscape of finance and communication. Get ready for a world-changing event as these quantum devices will redefine our way of life. Quantum foes break the boundaries of what traditional smartphones can do and put a much power in your hands. With features like quantum credit cards, you can withdraw digital currencies with the push of a button. It's not just about convenience. It's about breaking free from the centralized control of financial institutions. Characteristics. The quantum form is an idea that arises from the application of the principles of quantum mechanics to telecommunications. It is a theoretical and futuristic concept that would allow ultra secure and potentially faster communication than current technologies. It is based on two key technologies, quantum entanglement and quantum teleportation. Thanks to quantum entanglement, it would be impossible to intercept communications without being detected, which would allow 100% secure communications. This phenomenon is used in quantum cryptography, which is already in development. According to quantum mechanics, Two entangled particles maintain an instant connection at a distance. If this is applied to telecommunications, messages could be transmitted in a way that would not depend on the speed of light, something that currently seems impossible. Although it's not about transporting physical matter, the phenomenon of quantum teleportation allows the quantum state of one particle to be transferred remotely which could be used to transmit information between two devices. These devices incorporate small quantum chip, usually a quantum random num number generator. They use quantum technology to generate truly random and unpredictable enhanced decryption keys. They also offer increased security with an extra layer of protection for sensitive data, identification and transactions. Project. The QPhone is a pioneering project in the field of quantum communications developed by Outdoor, a Chinese startup that seeks to apply quantum technology to telecommunication devices. This phone promises to become one of the first communication devices based on quantum technology, with the aim of offering ultra-secure communications using quantum cryptography principles. This project uses quantum cryptography to ensure completely secure communications. 
Unlike current communication networks, where encryption can be breached with sufficient computing power, quantum cryptography is based on physical principles. Any attempt to intercept quantum information in transit would destroy the message and alert users. This device, device realizes Excuse me. This device relies on quantum networks based on key distribution, which allow cryptographic keys to be generated and shared with absolute security. These systems are already being tested in large-scale projects in China and Europe. Initially, the Q phone is not designed for the general public, but for governments, financial institutions, and large companies that need extreme protection of their data and communications. Despite its promise, the Q phone technology is in an early stage and is not yet in mass use. It is a sample of the future possibilities of technology when applied quantum telecommunications. This project is an important step in the evolution of quantum telecommunication, but this technology still has limitations. Currently, quantum key distribution is limited to relatively short distances, although new ways of extending these networks to greater distances using quantum satellites and quantum repeaters are being investigated. Challenges. Quantum phones are an emerging technology that incorporates elements of quantum computing to improve the security and the performance of smartphones. Although the technology is still in its early stages, quantum phones are expected to become more common in the future, offering unprecedented levels of security and performance in mobile devices. The, develop the development of a functional quantum phone is at a very early stage. As of today, researchers are working on quantum networks and quantum cryptography, but the infrastructure and technology necessary for a viable quantum phone does not yet exist until the Starlink network is activated. However, there are laboratories and institutions that have already made significant progress in short distance quantum data transmission. Quantum technology is still experimental and creating global quantum networks still requires overcoming many challenges, such as error connection and stability of quantum states. For a quantum phone to be possible, an entirely new telecommunication infrastructure is needed, very different from fiber optics on, today 5G, on today's 5G. While there is no exact date for the availability of full quantum processors in phones. The trend indicates that we could see significant advances in the coming years. For now, we are more likely to see a gradual integration of a specific quantum components, such as random number generators, before having a full quantum processor in a phone. Infrastructure. For the Q-Phone and other similar devices to be widely adopted, an entirely new quantum telecommunications infrastructure is needed, which is still in development. Quantum technology is expensive and complex, limiting its adoption outside of government institutions and large enterprises for the time being. It remains a considerable challenge to scale up the capacity of quantum networks globally to function like today's telecommunication networks. In short, the Q phone is a milestone in the race towards quantum communications, but it is still in the experimental phase, with a focus primarily on high level security and industrial or government applications. Quantum Mesh Network The Quantum Mesh Network represents a revolutionary advancement in communication technologies, leveraging the intricate principles of quantum mechanics. Unlike traditional networks, that rely on classical bits for information transfer. The quantum mesh network uses qubits, allowing data to exist in multiple states simultaneously through superposition. This offers unparalleled speed, 
security and re reliability in data transmission. Furthermore, the network leverage quantum entanglement, ensuring instant and secure communication channels, resistant to events dropping or hacking, by seamless integrating with terrestrial and space-based infrastructure, the quantum mesh network is poised to revolutionize the way we perceive and use communication networks, ushering in an era of increased connectivity, speed, and security. Future. The stakes are high. We are facing a great financial reset that threatens to topple traditional assets. It's not about surviving but thriving in this new era of financial power. GSRS program is set to launch us into a future of global prosperity, and the quantum phones are the key to unlocking that world. This is not just a new down. It is an earthquake that will shake the foundations of the current world order. But make no mistake, the transition will not happen without the fight. The old powers will resist with all their might to hold on to their crumbling control. Our mission is to get ahead of this change, embrace the future, and leave outdated systems behind. The choice is clear, stay behind or take the reins of destiny with quantum foes. The time to act is now. These phones are not just devices, they are weapons in the war for our future. GISRAC and quantum phones will open the door to financial freedom. Are you ready to take your place in history? This is your moment. Telegram from Julian Assange. The QFS app is here, and the elites are scrambling in secret meetings. The quantum financial system is no longer a distant dream. It is happening now, and it is revolutioning revolutionizing the global financial system. The days of the corrupt economy are numbered. Right now, behind closed doors, the world's most powerful bankers are panicking, forced to comply with a system that is about to redistribute their accumulated wealth to, be, to the people. And this is not just a technological upgrade, but a revolution. The coalition is deploying the QFS with surgical precision and dismantling all the financial structures. The Global Economic Security and Reform Act is in full force, and the largest wealth transfer in history is already underway. Banks around the world are being audited, assessed, and connected to the QFS network at an unprecedented rate. CEOs and CFOs are getting late night calls attending secret briefings and being given clear instructions. Comply with the QFS or be shut out of the new global economy. They've had their day, but now the tables are turning. Behind the scenes, GABA teams are waking around the clock to integrate all financial institutions into the QFS. The mainstream media is silent because they are part of the old system, but the signs are there sudden outages in bank services, and unexplained changes in procedures. This is the takeover of the new system, and it is happening faster than anyone could have predicted. The QFS is a security fortress, with quantum level encryption that no hacker or rogue state can penetrate. It's the ultimate equalizer, a system that ensures every dollar is accounted for. Every transaction is legitimate, and every person is free from financial oppression. The old system is crumbling, and the elites know it. They are trying to stay afloat, but this is unstoppable. Banks that refuse to comply are being taken offline. Their assets sized and their accounts frozen. This is a reset, a cleansing of corruption, and there is nothing they can do to stop it. This is more than a financial system. It is a global movement, an official declaration of beginning a, of a new era. The world is awakening. Connections are being made, and everyone will have the opportunity to be part of this revolutionary change. The QFS is already here, 
and it's already rewriting the rules. Embrace it because the world as we knew it is no more and what is coming next is a financial landscape that serves the people at last. Stay art, stay informed and get ready because the storm is here. In Europe, ECB cuts interest rates to 3.65% biggest drop of the year. Brussels major boasts to block migrant buses in Ho if Hungary follows through on threats. Germany suspends illegal immigration. Other European countries will follow suit. When people have problems, they are not automatically solved by moving to another location. They should sort out their problems at home before trying to move them next door. Swedish and Danish police join forces to combat gang violence. Two women sentenced for spreading the word that Macron's wife is transgender. Zahi Hawass calls on Berlin to return bust of Nefertiti. USA. New York police commissioner resigns amid federal investigation. Louisiana wakes up flooded and without power due to Francine, which advances through the southeastern US. The Soyuz spacecraft with two Russians and an American joins the International Space Station. Biden wears the Trump cap as a gesture of unity, the White House says. Trump is interested in visiting the Basilica of Guadalupe in Mexico. Media Gir Greer says that in the market depth of conspiracy theories and whispered secrets, one name reigns supreme, John Fisher Kennedy Jr. Did he orchestrate a masterful disappearing act, tricking the world into believing he perished in a tragic plane crash? More importantly, has he been pulling the strings from the shadows, orchestrating a grand symphony of political upheaval? Americas. Only 8% of migrants in Mexico who request asylum in the US get an appointment. Haitians hunt domestic cats to eat them, and also for voodoo witchcraft purposes. They use the blood and bones of cats because they believe it brings good luck. Terrible. More than 40 countries, including Spain, are calling for democracy to be restored in Venezuela. The National Assembly of Venezuela advocates break breaking with Spain for having recognized Edmundo. Lack of control over unlicensed, unlicensed taxes sparks new protests in Colombia. Former Peruvian President Alberto Fujimori dies at 86. The Paraguay River reaches a new historic low. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.